Hey, what's up guys, it's Aryan. And over this past summer, I've been traveling quite a bit. A lot of it is for basketball, playing in tournaments kind of all over the place. And I actually went to Spain with the family as well. And throughout those trips, I kind of took the same items with me everywhere I went in my tech bag. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look back at some of the things that I pack with me in my tech bag when I'm traveling kind of all over the place. And these things come in super handy for me to be productive and me to film content kind of wherever I'm going. So without further ado, let's just hop into it. Okay, so starting off with the bag itself, I feel like that's a pretty good place to start. This is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack V2. This is the 20 liter version. I find like the 20 liter version is like the perfect size for me because it doesn't take up too much space and I could just put it right in the leg compartment in an airplane without it taking up too much of my leg room. And it fits everything I need it to fit, including my big laptop. So it does the job just well. I find that the bag itself is built really well. Got it in all black so it looks sleek, it looks stylish, and it's very functional. I do like how it's built to be a camera bag so I can take my cameras with me, I can take my content creating tools with me, and it has all of a place to go and it's not kind of rolling around everywhere like it would be just like a regular backpack. So the structure and kind of the functionality behind the bag is really good. And honestly, it uses a lot of magnets, which I think are really cool as well, like the latch mechanism and some of the stuff inside. And I really just like the whole bag itself. I really like how it stands up by itself and you can access the stuff from the side without having to take the whole bag out. It comes in really handy. It's just a great bag that keeps everything really safe, really secure, and I have no complaints with it. Now the laptop that kind of powers everything is the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. I have this in silver and this is kind of like my workhorse. I do pretty much everything off of this laptop, including editing these videos, pictures, pretty much everything you can think of. It's coming off of this laptop, so this is, goes with me everywhere I go. It's a 16 inch version because I wanted the bigger screen real estate because when I'm traveling, when I'm on the go and it's not connected to the monitor, I have a lot of screen real estate to work with. So when I'm editing photos, editing videos, it just makes my life so much easier and it's just an overall good experience as well as watching movies. Everything on this display is super, super crispy and I've been loving this laptop ever since. The fact that it has an SD card slot makes my life so much more easier and it's just been amazing. And if you're a creator, this one or even the 14 inch, you would definitely not be disappointed just like I am. Like this is honestly a great tool to have and I've been loving using it. Now, even though it's a 16 inch version, it still fits in my bag just fine. And I find that taking it around is not too big of a deal. I use it in airports, I use it on the plane sometimes and it's fine. Like I don't feel like I need the 14 inch because I'm sacrificing on portability. I mean, this is just fine. But speaking of portability, there are a lot of times where I find myself wanting a smaller device and that's where the iPad mini, the new one, comes in super, super handy and it just fits right in my hand. It's a great media consumption device. I use this mostly actually on the planes. I download a couple movies on Netflix, download actually a lot of shows. I'm watching Stranger Things, uh, Peaky Blinders, and I'm just starting Umbrella Academy actually. So having them all on the iPad on the plane is a really nice experience. I could just, I have a smart cover so I could just kind of fold it and set it up on the table on the airplane, put my headphones in and I'm good to go. This size, the portability of this is so nice and it's just a joy to use. Now I used to have the bigger 11 inch iPad Pro. I still actually have that, but I find myself not using it a lot because this size combined with the computer itself, it just makes for a really good duo. And to be honest, I don't really use this to do much work. Like during the school year, I would take notes and stuff on this, but in the summer with no classes, I don't even take the Apple Pencil along with me. It's just pretty much straight media consumption device. And what I actually use it for sometimes as well is as a kind of a monitor for the camera that I'm using. So I just have the Sony Image Edge app, and then this acts as like a, a bigger screen for a viewfinder. Media consumption device, small, portable, perfect size. I just take it around with me. Now, when I'm traveling, since I do carry a big pair of headphones, I don't have space to carry my whole tech pouch, but I carry two things from my tech pouch that kind of help me with the whole content creation side as well. The first of them is being this SanDisk one terabyte portable SSD. Now, I Recently kind of upgraded to the SSD life and let me tell you it's been so clutch because this thing takes no space at all. USB-C, don't have to carry dongles, none of that and it's super fast like miles and miles and miles faster than the old hard drive I was using. And it has this rubber exterior which kind of makes it feel a little bit rugged to me and I'm not worried about it breaking or anything so it just takes out some hassle in my mind and I use this to kind of store everything, all my videos, my pictures that I take wherever I'm going, pretty much everything lives on this. 
So this combined with my laptop, I have to take this everywhere I go. And along with that, so I bring my camera everywhere, but for the camera, I actually bring a variable ND filter. And that is because I tend to film a lot of content outside. So, so if you shoot video, you know that you need one of these to shoot outside because you do not want to be cranking up your shutter speed or cranking up your aperture. So I always take this because if I'm ever filming outside, I'm going to need this. So it always goes in the backpack with me. Now, like I said, I carry a pair of headphones with me too. And the headphones that I carry are the AirPods Max. These are honestly a great pair of headphones. They sound really good. And more than that, just the noise canceling and the transparency mode are really, really nice, especially on an airplane. I find myself being able to listen to them for hours and hours. Like the flight to Spain was about like seven, seven and a half hours. I pretty much had these on most of the time. I feel like the top band is very comfortable and it doesn't hurt my head. And the ear cups actually go completely over my ear. So they're not pressing up against them, kind of giving it more comfortability in that aspect too. The one thing about this is, I've talked about it before, this case sucks. I really hate it. I don't know why they did it. And it's just like, with this being exposed, I kind of put it in my bag and there's no space really to carry anything else in that compartment. They don't fold, they don't, it's just like, it's kind of like just in the way all the time. But the sound quality and the ease of use of these, especially combined with the other Apple devices I carry, just makes for a great experience overall. So something that I got to take with me. So like I said, I kind of shoot a lot of content wherever I'm going. And the main camera that I use, I'm actually filming on it right now, and it's the Sony a7S III. And that's combined with the 24 to 70 f2.8 G Master lens. So this is the lens, actually. I'm not shooting with the lens so I can show you guys. But I find like this lens is the one lens that I need pretty much all the time because at 24, it's pretty wide angle. And then I can punch into like a telephoto type lens in the 70 millimeter f2.8. So it lets in a decent amount of light. And with the Sony a7S III, I can crank the ISO a little bit higher if I need to shoot in low light conditions. So this is the only lens that I take for the camera because one, I wanna keep the setup as minimal as I can. I don't wanna be carrying a bunch of lenses, risking losing it, risking damaging them. So this lens is the only thing that's on the camera and so far it's gotten the job done really well and I'm perfectly happy with it. I also carry another camera with me and that is the Fuji X100V. Now this is like my photo taking camera, whereas the a7S III is my video camera. And this is the camera that I pretty much take everywhere. Like all my friends know that when we're going out, I'll probably have this camera with me because some of the images it takes is so nice. It's like a whole vibe in itself. And then I can edit the pictures that I take on Lightroom and I kind of give it this film kind of look to it. And when I send it to people, they really tend to like the pictures that comes out of it. And it's fun to use. It's nice and portable. It's just a great thing to take around. You're just experiencing your memories all over again with this camera. I really like the aesthetic of it, the vibe of it, the pictures of it. So this goes everywhere with me. Whenever I'm traveling, even sometimes when I'm going out with my friends, this is the thing I take. And if you noticed on this camera and even the a7S III, I have the Peak Design clips and I have a bunch of Peak Design products, including the bag and everything. But a little thing that I take around with me is this one. And this is the Peak Design wrist strap. I find like this just paired with one of the cameras or even that super easy, just goes on the wrist, doesn't get in the way. Actually, it has a really cool feature where if it's on the wrist and you're not using it, it has a magnet in it. So you kind of put it like that and then it turns into like a bracelet almost where it's just like out of sight, out of mind. And honestly, that's just a genius idea. I don't know why more people don't do that, but this just helps me making sure that the camera is safe. Both of the cameras are safe when I'm out and about because I do not want to be dropping them quite expensive and dropping them will probably be the worst thing possible. And last but certainly not least, this goes along with the camera, is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. I tend to vlog or shoot content wherever I'm traveling, so this mic is honestly the go-to. I find the sound quality is very good. It turns on and off when the camera turns on and off too, so I really like that feature so I don't have to be worrying about is the microphone on, this is not the one thing, and I know it's an older microphone, but the one thing is that it charges with micro USB. <sighs> Why? Like I wish it just charged with USB-C because then everything of mine would charge either lightning or USB-C and make my life a lot easier. But I gotta carry an extra cable for this. It is what it is, but the microphone pretty much lives on the camera whenever I'm using it because I think it sounds great and it gets the job done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's basically everything that I carry in my tech bag whenever I'm traveling throughout this summer and when I continue to travel, everything here serves a purpose and everything helps me get my job done and just makes my life easier. I enjoy using it, so I carry around with me. Feel like it's not too much of a complicated setup, but 
it's not minimal either. So that's stuff that I carry. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. My name is Arya and I'll see you again next time.